Today on the Low Nose Lab, we are doing a voiceover microphone comparison of these portable recorders. Don't go anywhere, I'm next. Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. It's Low for Low Nose, always here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech, because what else? We love that stuff. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out on any other future videos just like this one. Okay, so this video is a long time coming. I've had plenty of requests to, hey, Lo, uh, please do a review or a microphone comparison of these, of these handy recorders because I probably want to use this as my main microphone recorder and yada, yada, yada. And here we are. I'm so sorry about the delay, but here we are. Um, how are we going to do our comparison today? Well, we're going to do like a straight up comparison the way it is right here. Then we're going to attach these microphones on top of my camera, test them out vlog style. Then we'll take these handy recorders outside and see how it handles doing a voiceover outside. All right. So let's get into the comparison right now. Let's start off with the Zoom H1. <laughs> the Zoom H1. Uh, you would probably most likely get this microphone for lavalier microphones. Uh, probably if you're in a lecture hall and you want to use the microphones outside in the um, outside and open here, uh, you'll probably just leave this on your desk and record whatever lecture you are listening to. Uh, these, it's not the most sensitive microphone. As you can probably see, you got to get really close to actually get a really nice sound out of it. But once you get further back, the sound kind of drops off dramatically. Um, this really is a meant to be up close microphone. So if you're going to use this to interview someone, you really want it in their face, kind of like a, a notes. Um, you know, as a reminder to myself, I need to get eggs, milk, bread, and tampons, w whatever you need to do. Um, but I, you would probably use this. But this is the sound coming from the Zoom H1. Let's move over to the Zoom H4n. A uh, bit of a better uh, microphone setup here with the the cross microphones, the XY microphones. Uh, you probably get a lot of bit, a bit of a more fuller sound coming from this setup. Uh, if you can see, like the capsules, uh, the, the the sensors of the microphones a lot bigger than the Zoom H1 for sure. Um, and you're, like I said before, you're probably getting a more full voice sound from my voice coming from this microphone. And I'll back up just for a second here so you can actually get a sense of what the microphone sounds like a little further way back, but I'm pretty sure it sounds better than this one. Now, in the past before, when I used this one, this microphone sounded phenomenal, all right? It, 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 also, it almost gave you that sound as if you were like listening to some kind of um, um, NPR kind of thing. And it kind of really gave you that sound like you're in the street. Uh, you got like full clear voice, but at the same time you had this amazing soft ambiance that was coming from the background. I was super impressed with this. I even recorded a helicopter landing and taking off. Yeah, landing and taking off. And it recorded in stereo. And I promise you, like when I played it back in my headphones, it felt like I was actually there. So I have nothing but great things to say about these microphones on top of this handy recorder, but how does it do for voiceovers? We know it's I know I know it's a great folly microphone, but or scenery microphone, but how does it sound for voiceovers? You tell me. We'll do our we'll get our I'll give you my opinions towards the end of the video. All right, so moving on to the Zoom H6 handy recorder. Um, the capsules on this microphone are a lot bigger than the H4N and the H1. Uh, this one like this one, this handy recorder has four XLR inputs. You can also connect an XLR, no, not an XLR, a lavalier microphone to this one right here. You can also connect a lavalier microphone to this one and this one as well. And I imagine that this one actually has a bigger, better, fuller sound, if not a more sens sensitive microphone to this one. Uh, I haven't really recorded any folly work or ambient sound coming from this microphone, but I would imagine it would do a better job than this one. All right, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and put this microphone on top of our camera so we can get a vlogging sense of how these microphones perform. All right, here we go. Vlogging time with the Zoom H1. Uh, right now I've got about like an arm length uh, away from me and as I don't know exactly what it sounds like right now, but this is what it actually sounds like with the microphone directly on top of uh, my camcorder. Uh, my Sony AX53, AX, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, but this is what the microphone sounds like on top of it. Doing vlogging style right here, right now, uh, in the studio. Um, one note that I forgot to mention is that right now, I have all of, re all of the recorders going at 4824. 48 hertz, 24 bit. That's the recording uh, depth and bit rate I am recording at right now. Now, let's move to the Zoom H4n. Let's go. And this is a Zoom H4n 
recording or mounted on top of uh, my camera. Do you hear a difference? I'm pretty sure you do, and I'm pretty sure the difference is a lot more fuller compared to the uh, compared to the Zoom H1. Right now, like I said, we are recording, we're vlogging at arm's length, and this is what the Zoom H4n sounds like on top of the camera while we are doing a little vlog. All right, now let's go for the big boy, the Zoom H6. And for the final microphone, it is the Zoom H. <laughs> the Zoom H6. I'm telling you, I get confused with all these things. Vlogging style, arm length, as as always. Um, I can only imagine that. Oh, I'm getting tangled here. I can only imagine that this one sounds a little bit better better than a Zoom H4, uh, and but I'm pretty sure it sounds way better than a Zoom H1. Um, you know, it's a bit bulky. I mean, it's a big recorder on top of this camera. Um, I'm not really sure if you'd want to do this, but if you could get the sound, actually, I would probably do this if I was somewhere I was trying to get really good video and also really good ambient sound, maybe like water or grass or something. I'd probably have the feed going directly into the camera. All right, that's it for the vlogging style setup. This thing is getting heavy, golly. Uh, let's take these things outside and see how it handles outside. Let's go. And we are back. Okay. First, before I get started, just want to say so sorry about the plosives earlier today. I had no idea that the plosives would be so hard. So now I got windscreens on the microphones. Uh, this is the one that came with this microphone. This is the one that came with this microphone. Unfortunately, I misplaced it for this microphone. So, so sorry. All right, so let's do our voiceover test for these three microphones. I'm just going to tell you like a little short story, made up story, and let's just see how it handles. I'll try to be a little more uh, careful with this one so we're not uh, hitting the plosives so hard on this one. I want to tell you the story about the donut thief. Now, the donut thief had this weird thing in mind where he wanted to steal all the donuts in the world. And not just because, not just because he wanted to steal the donuts, it's because he wanted nothing left in the donut shops but bagels. He felt that if there was some kind of surplus of bagels, then all the bagels in the world could be taken away. So, when he stole all the donuts, that's just what happened. Everybody had, was forced to eat bagels, 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 cinnamon bagels, sesame bagels, any kind of bagel you could think of. But little did the donut thief realize that there was not only himself as the donut thief, but there was also a bagel thief as well. So the bagel thief comes into town and is like, wait a second, oh, too many people are buying my bagels when I should be st stealing them. This was not a good thing for the bagel thief. So out of nowhere came the croissant thief, you didn't see that coming now, did you? Now the croissant thief wanted nothing. I'm not really sure what the croissant thief wanted, but he did not like the, the bagel thief or the donut thief. Stay tuned for the next video to tell you, so I can tell you how it ended. Whatever, it's not really a true story, it's not even a story at all, but hopefully it just gave you an example of how these microphones actually sounded. Okay, let's get back into the lab, and I'll give you my final judgments or my thoughts on these microphones. Let's go. All right, so impressions time. And while I give you my impressions, um, we're also gonna do a test with these microphones as well. If you decided to get these microphones, links down below in the description. If you decided to get these microphones, um, you would probably use this if you were probably trying to capture audio using them as your main uh, microphone for your product. Projects. All right, so I've got them set them up. I've got them set up. My H6, my H4, and my H1. Let's get to the impressions. We'll go over it really quick just to give you like a sense of what I think about it. Um, my first track here, this is my Zoom H1. My second track is my H4, and my third track is my HC. Let's take a listen to our H1 first. Well, you want to use the microphones outside in the um, outside in the open here. Uh, you'll probably just leave this on your desk and record whatever lecture you are listening to. Uh, these, that's not the most. Okay, so you already heard that, and to me, it sounds really good. When we're up close on the H1, the audio sounds great, uh, but you gotta be careful of the plosives, so you wanna make sure you actually have one of those protectors to win uh, uh, the poppers for that. But the H1 sounds really, really, really good. Let's take a listen to the H4. Most sensitive microphone, as you can probably see, you gotta get really close to actually... Let's move up. And even with me addressing the H1, the H4 is still picking up a great sense of my voice right there. Let's take a little listen. And tampons, w whatever you need to do. Uh, All right, so that's me using the H4 and it still sounds good, especially with me not right on top of it. Let's get to me when I'm on it. More fuller sound coming from this setup. Uh, if you can see like the capsules, uh, the, the, the All right, so we are getting a better, fuller sound with the H4 when we're on top of it. Of course, I'm hitting those, I'm hitting those plosives, so sorry about that again. Um, let's take a listen to it when I get to the H4, not um, the H6. Let's see how it sounds like when, when I get to there. Fast forward to it. 
Oh, I went too far. Okay, this is it. Yeah. All right, so moving on to the Zoom H6 handy recorder. Um, the capsules on this... Wow, it still sounds really good. I'm not on top of the H4. I'm talking to H6, and the H4 still sounds good. So like, you really don't need to be on top of that mic. It really has a good sense of, like, picking up your voice within a range, within a radius. All right, let's listen to the H6. This microphone are a lot bigger than the H4n and the H1. Uh, this one, this one, this handy recorder has four. Wow, and the H6 sounds amazing. It's got that full sound to it, almost like a, a compressor mic. I, I would actually say it would, it would probably like rival a lot of uh, uh, compressor microphones at this point right now. And as you can see, when I get off access, it still does a great job of picking up my voice. Let's go back and play it in their face, kind of like a, a notes. Um, you know, as a reminder to myself, I need to get a... And it's also playing on the left-hand side, so that's pretty cool. Um, with the vlogging parts, let's go to the H1. That's... I don't know exactly what it sounds like right now. Yeah, it sounds like super far away, so the H1, you wouldn't use it on a vlogging, like, my, on a vlogging setup automatically um let's go to h4 recording or mounted on top of uh my camera do you hear a difference i'm pretty sure you do all right it sounds better it still sounds distant uh but you know it looks like i need to bring up the levels here so let's let's do that real quick uh, i'm gonna bring it up by f by five decibels all right i'm pretty sure the difference is a lot no let's bring it up again more fuller compared to the uh, compared to the zoom h1 right now like i said we are recording we're vlogging at arm all right so there is definitely a point of right here it sounds great but as, as soon as you get further away further away you're definitely picking up a lot of ambiance with within that uh the h6 what are my thoughts on h6 you no know, the the mics on top of this thing are just way sensitive and like i said before it gives off it still has that distant sound but it still it still captures that fullness of it and my thoughts being outside Let's take a listen to exclusive so hard on this one. I get started, just want to say so sorry about the so sorry. Steal all the donuts in the world. And not just because not just because H1 sounds good. I'm being careful with my plosives. It still sounds really good. He wanted to steal the donuts. So when he stole all the donuts, left in the donut shops, but bagels. He felt that if there was some kind of surplus of bagels. H4 sounds good, doing really good uh, outside. Um, uh, that's like a little machine that you hear buzzing in the background. It's like a, um, I guess like a pool pump or something. Um, but it's doing a really good job. It, 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 it's picking up the voice nice and fine. And it's still, I feel like it's doing, it's it's not really rejecting the audio, but it's putting it in the background in a nice, in a nice comfortable level uh, where it's, it's like, okay, there's something happening in the ba background, but it's not like so intrusive. But the bagel thief got together with a muffin thief, and they all came together to have one big thieving breakfast. Get down. Sounds like a great, it sounds like a great outdoor microphone. All right, so that is your voiceover comparison with the Zoom H1, the Zoom H4, and the Zoom H Zoom H6. God, I think they're fantastic sounding microphones, especially the Zoom H6. Sounds really, really, really good. Sounds better. I've, I've never really done any voice work on the H6, so that sounds good. H4, I know what I'm going to get from that. Sounds amazing, as always. Um, and of course, the H1, well, don't, tr don't try to... I wouldn't tr I wouldn't try to use it for too many voiceovers um, but if you're gonna have it up close then it'll do uh, it'll do a great job just don't be on camera with this up on your face um, maybe if you're doing some kind of b-roll voiceover footage it would probably be a good option to use that microphone all right guys as always I hope these video help helped you out if you have any questions or any comments about these microphones if you want to see more reviews I'll leave a links down the down below if you're interested in getting these microphones or seeing additional reviews on these microphones and as always if you like the videos go ahead and leave a like subscribe if you love these videos leave comments down below let me know what you think about these microphones these field recorders um, and if you have any questions hit me up and as always hit me on my social media low nose sort of on all of them and also join the best community on all of YouTube on discord low nose until next time guys I'll see you in the next video take care bye